Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy the Open Felgana, where last time we pretty much did a bunch of side questing and escorted Elena back to town and all that. This time around, we're going to head towards the Elder Mountains. Thankfully enough, I could warp to the direct point there, because in the last episode, we also experimented with the double jump. Now that we can actually double jump, we can just jump right up up. I'm not sure how Dogi got up here, probably just climbed the wall. A wall I can see flipping on. Oh well, that's what happens when you play like a lower resolution version of a game. Anyways, to the Elder Mountains, largely undisturbed by man. This area is a rather huge one, so you're going to expect to be here for quite some time. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely am, and I can't wait because I need a lot of money in order to actually get the new armor set. And thankfully enough, there's a lot of enemies here that drop a decent chunk of gold, and there's a lot of item pickups here and there as well, so. Let me doing that. Uh oh, I want I want all that money. I want that money. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Do, 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 do. All right. Not that I'm too worried. It stays. It doesn't like disappear. I mean, if it if it did, it takes an obscenely long amount of time for it to do that. So I have no idea. All right. Let me grab you. You. Do. And yeah, this area. Ow. <laughs> this area has a lot of uh, things that are hidden, just like that enemy there. So, you also want to be on the lookout for that, too. Why did I say y'all? <laughs> y'all want to be on the lookout for that, too. <laughs> but yes, there are a decent chunk of things that are hidden in this area. And honestly, the PSP version is going to make it a teeny bit harder for me to find them. Although I do know where most of them are at. You just got to pay attention like the outer walls and the inner walls and stuff like that. And you'll basically see them as you go along. I want to use this, please. I don't want to kill that bug. There you go. Yeah, all these enemies that are in the ground here, you kind of want to do a little down stab on them or try to stun them so they stay above ground because they do a ton of damage and it's not fun. But yeah, on the little itty bitty PSP screen, it might be a little hard to see, but if you look just close enough, there is a burn leaf here. As you remember, we need to collect those for Hugo in order to uh, make the pickards, not sickards. So that. It's gonna be rather easy. I believe there's four pickards, so we just need to find four of them. Shouldn't be too hard. You just need to be careful, be cautious, and look for those things. They're not too hard to come by, and they're pretty easy to find, so just kind of look around, you'll eventually see them. But yeah, like I said, there's hidden areas, so let me see if I could go about finding one really quick. Right here is one that you wouldn't notice if you weren't really paying attention. If you jumped up like a double jump right there, you'd be able to see it. That's the whole point for that platform to exist. It's like you could double jump and see that there's something up there. But that's all that really is. Just more Ravel Ore, which... In this case, I can't go down that way, so I gotta do that. So let me make the long trek back around. Right over. Yep. There we go. And now we're over in this screen. Which is the screen? I believe there's hidden stuff here too. There's like hidden stuff on like every screen. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know why they made so many hidden areas in this place. I, I guess it's because the white makes it harder to see. I don't know. That's kind of nice too because if you look in the background where the PSP version has a dithering right there, you notice that there's like fog. It's very easy to hide the fact that there's really nothing rendered back there. <laughs> it's just like fog. You can't see it. Which is, it's actually kind of a neat technique, especially since like the background is like a just slight enough layer to where you just don't see like a difference. Oh, that didn't do anything. Let me just do down stab. Down stab seems to do the best. And down stab's on you for sure because stunning you makes for easy kills. But yeah, doing grinding before this honestly isn't really that worth it. If you want to get the new equipment, it will take a while, but just coming here and just going through the area is the best way to just get everything. Like, get all the money that you need for stuff, because, again, enemies here just drop more money than they do in the older zone, so it's like, hmm, I just got 60 gold from that, so that that's good. Oh, yeah. Fire. <laughs> you can blow those up with fire, because it's, it's ice, which is actually very useful. It's gonna basically train you that, hey, you can use both of these in tandem. A lot of the other areas is, like, First area you get, you just like use this. Second area, you're mostly using this. Now it's like, oh hey, use both. So that's that's pretty neat that they're like kind of telling you that, hey, ice is like, hmm, maybe I could do something with like that. Get rid of you. That actually counted as a stun. I'm surprised. 
<laughs> but I'm not totally surprised, but at the same time, that, that that's nice for me because it saved me some time. Alright, and obviously there's a hole in the ground here, so let's hop down it. Whee! There we go. Get a ton of money. And blow up some ice, see if there's anything in them. There's never really... I mean, I wouldn't say there's never, there's usually some stuff here and there. You just gotta be on the lookout. But yeah, this area, again, grinding to level up. Very, very useful, especially since new enemies. Like, that, that gauge just fills up. Can I jump, please? Jump with the magic. <laughs> there. Ow, ow. I'll do that. Ow. There we go. Money, please. And jump. I gotta be very careful. Especially this thing. Ow. That thing. <laughs> I can't really reliably kill those yet. So it's not worth the effort to attempt it. It's really not. Oh, yeah, that's why I can't go. That enemy's in the way. I gotta be very careful, too, because ice physics. And there's gonna be a ton of them. Ah, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Stop. I, I want that chest. Give me that chest before I get killed. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna melee jump, melee jump, just keep jumping, just keep swimming, just keep, there we go. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm back over here. I don't want to die in this area because I haven't hit a save point yet and it's gonna take me a while to do that. It's like, I get through this cave first. Please die, thank you. And I want you to leave me alone. Thank you. Because I want this burn leaf. Give me burn leaf. It looks like they hit each other, <laughs> just because of the way that they're positioned. It looks like they just whacked each other in the face. Bye, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the HP. Sage my bacon there a little bit. Let's go over here. Go over here. Go over here. Jump. And jump. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw something. I could be dumb. I could be dumb. I swear I saw something. Nope, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cautious as well because there are, again, hidden areas. I am going to do that. There we go. Okay, I gotta be... Oh, I thought that was an enemy right there. Nope. There we go. That's a lot of money. I know there's hidden areas too. There's one. <laughs> there's hidden areas everywhere, so I'm always being cautious for them. That one's obvious. It's easy to miss, though, if you're not paying attention. And especially if you're playing in the original PC version, you're playing in... I... Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to open that chest. If you're playing the original PC version, you don't have the 16x9 going on, so I guarantee you'll probably miss it because you don't have the widescreen. Like, it'll just be cut off, like, around where the... where that thing that I'm switching down there is. Uh, maybe give or take, like probably where the armor is, uh, but you know, less wide is essentially what you be seeing. Oh, got a berm leaf. Let me grab that. Don't worry if you haven't found all four yet, because oh, I just realized I'm about to die. <laughs> because we're not done in this place. There's definitely a lot more to go. Oh, hello. I I, I hope you drop health. Please drop health. Thank you. You did not drop health. Why did I say that? Ow! <laughs> That's a problem. Stun! Stun, please! There we go. Drop health, I don't want to die. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Give me health, please. Of course, they immediately drop health. That's fine. That, that's a wasted boost if I ever seen one. Alright. I wonder how this area would have been like, I mean, obviously it's like a bunch of jumping platforms and such. I wonder how this area would have been before the monsters took over. Like, I'm guessing someone had to like climb this wall instead of just double jumping up there. Ah, that didn't count as a stun. I jumped, I jumped in a weird way earlier, landed right next to him and got the stun and now I can't, there we go. <laughs> now I can't get the stun when I'm actually attempting to do a stun. Wait, 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 is there any, is there something else? Is there something more? Oh. Making sure. I want you dead. I want- I-, I this is fine. <laughs> That's fine. I almost got enough for another armor piece. I think it was like 14 and 1800 or something like that. 
Uh, I, I know it was like 40,000 total, so it might have been 16 and 14? No. Yeah, it's either 40,000 or 30, I don't know. <laughs> it's a certain amount I need, and I don't think I'm going to have enough. But either way, I will eventually get it, and I want it. Ow. As long as I have the sword... Ow. As long as I have the sword, then I'm okay by doing extra damage, but more defense will be also helpful. You need to die before you out before you do that. Okay, there's a chest. I want to figure out how to get that one. I, I know there's hidden stuff on these screens. There's always hidden stuff on the screens. Like this tree! This is the dumbest, like, hidden thing ever. Give me a second. Let me kill this guy. It's like, hmm, how do I get over here? Walk behind the tree. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a weird. Let's hide something. Oh yeah, that that's a lot of money. I'm gonna definitely take that. And there's one more hidden spot coming up. I think I passed it. Did I pass it? No, I didn't. It's just right here. Let me go down and grab you. If you didn't have enough Ravel or for Antonio, you definitely have it by now. You probably have enough to like just give him all you need <laughs> to like do the entire thing by now. If you haven't even started, but I, I did it as it came, so it was fine there. Okay, up and away we go. All right, it looks like I hit a save point, so I'm going to save right here on a new slot because I do that. Now that I got the warp, I'm actually going to get a teeny little bit more money, and I probably can afford the sword. But I'm going to buy the shield, just so I have that. Alright, I have enough for at least Welcome the shield, so I'm going to go for that. And then I can't really afford the Bandit Slayer just yet, that's 24,000. I am going to keep that in mind for later, but I probably don't have enough money to do this, now I think about it. What do you got for me? Yeah, <laughs> that's like oh literally, a, that's literally kill a couple things and I'm good, but I uh, don't have the money for that, that is hilarious. Anyways, let's warp back to the Elder Mountains. Because obviously there's a save point. The music didn't stop though, so hmm. You don't really know about that, but now that I have better defense, I'm, I think I'm good to go. So. Let's head into here. Now the music stopped. So that means there's something up ahead. I can't platform to save my life sometimes. There we go. I've been waiting for you. I never thought you'd return from that hell. What's more, you've communed with the spirit of Genos himself. I can no longer allow you to live. Ergo, you shall die in the embrace of the Furies! The three flying succubi, Legati. So as you can tell, they're color-coded. <laughs> what this means is that each one has a specific weakness. <laughs> so, and they also share a life bar, as you can tell. So the easiest way around that is to basically just kind of hit them as you will. But what about the blue one? The blue one is weak to your sword. <laughs> it's very, very odd. You think that they would have like made it like so you get the like another bracelet or something? Because obviously, spoilers for the inventory. You notice that there's a third one. But yeah, they are all weak to specific elements, and they all do different attacks depending on, like, their level, like, their amount of HP. They do stronger attacks and such. And the moment you kill one, they will start doing stronger attacks as well, like, basically stronger versions of all their attacks. So if you want the battle to be as easy as possible, do your damage, like, divide your damage up. Because once you get down to one, the battle gets really hard at that point because they basically just go berserk and it's really hard to defend against that. Problem is, it's also kind of hard to realize like when you're about half damage on each one. So you kind of just have to kind of hope for it. But yeah, I killed one now. So now they're going to start doing stronger attacks like that. And eventually, ow, eventually they're going to, I'm going to kill another one before I like kill the other, like basically split up my damage. And if I don't do that, then it's going to be even stronger. 
Okay, so now we have one left, and we're going to basically be having a very out. A lot more. Ah. Like, whoa. Okay, yeah. A lot. Ah. <laughs> My turn. Uh, I can probably just get you down. Like, ow. <laughs> this is fine. I can just do this and kill you. <laughs> Impossible. How can you command such power? The PSP version. Yeah, that's what I will respond with, too. <laughs> Perhaps. No. It can't be. Not that it mattered much anyway. I literally only had one hit left on them, and all I had to do was just run up and hit, but just doing that kind of secured the victory. <laughs> Either way, we're not quite done with this place just yet. We got quite a bit more to go. Because all we did is like defeat a boss like in one part, but we haven't seen Dogi yet. But maybe he's in here. Hmm. Fiery red hair, clear black eyes, are just as he described, Adol. My name is Burhart. I suppose you could call me a hermit, though I'd prefer you not. Since arriving at my cabin, Dogie's done nothing but speak of his journeys with you. I assume you've come to see him. Adol explained the circumstances of his visit and inquired about the legend of Genos. I see. Dogi expressed similar concerns, though it seems things are much more urgent than I'd assumed. Very well. I'll tell you everything I know about the legend. You've heard some of the story from Mayor Edgar, of course, and I can verify that everything he told you is true. I'm quite familiar with the rest as well, and indeed, all of it is entirely factual. None of it is myth. Ages ago, a demonic creature called Galbalan drifted ashore in Felgana and assumed control of the entire land. And yes, eventually a warrior named Genos did indeed defeat the creature. Things are never quite that simple, however. The story continues. After he defeated Galbalan, Genos used the power of four statues, known as the Holy Treasures, to seal him away. In essence, since a being of that caliber cannot be destroyed so easily, Galbalan was shackled, imprisoned. Genos later hid the statues in the most inaccessible, inhospitable places he could find, far from human hands. To ensure that the power sealed within could never be released, he appointed his descendants to watch over them. It would seem the statues you found are indeed those same holy treasures. And for some reason, the vile power they're meant to contain is leaking out into the countryside. I believe that's the reason for the monster attacks over the last year. Perhaps it's all part of Count Maguire's evil scheme, whatever that may be. He's probably deluded himself into thinking he can use the statue's power to make the monsters do his bidding. From what you and Dogi have told me, it seems highly likely that one of the statues is here, in the Elder Mountains. Dogi went deeper into the caves in search of it, hoping to get his hands on it before Maguire does. If you intend to go after him, and undoubtedly you do, I suggest you hurry, as I'm sure the chase is afoot. So yes, we have kind of a chase to go afoot about. That's a weird way of putting things, but yes. We now have the full legend of what happened between 
Genos and Gabalan and how he was sealed using the four treasures. And speaking of the treasures, we have three of them. <laughs> so the last one is on like this mountain, of course, and we need to find it. But we will continue through the Elder Mountains next time on Azure Plays more easily. Morgana. See you all then.